comics uh, for the whole world, uh, or most of the world. And uh, as you will see here, we are, we are, uh, today we are actually demonstrating here at the show a brand new technology for indoor positioning, uh, combined with our indoor maps, uh, phones we, are, we are planning to, uh, to release very soon. So this has just come off of our R&D uh, uh, uh from Nokia and from Matic, which is a collaboration with them. And as you will see, we are actually, uh, if you are zooming in here in our map, you see our, our, you know, our regular street map, as you have seen it before. Uh, and as you are getting closer and closer, you actually are zooming, zooming in onto the, uh, the exhibition hall, uh, the exhibition fair, the Nobel Congress. You get closer and closer, and you actually get to the snapping booth. So you see actually the detail of the booth here. So as you can see, these are the, uh, you know, the little kiosks and the little dots on here. These are actually the, uh, the phones we have here. So here. I believe I have the green dots. Um, Let me interrupt you there first. Yes. Uh, how do you get the positioning? Is it just GPS? Uh, I'm just going to show you. Okay, and I'm cool. just going to explain to you how, how it actually works. So uh, these positions, they are actually uh, based on an, uh, or, or created from a new technology which is called High Accuracy Indoor Positioning. Uh, it's, uh, it's come from the uh, NRC, uh, Nokia Research Center. And basically how it works at the moment is very simple. We have these uh, little uh, tags on here which uh, use a, a technology which is uh, similar to Bluetooth Low Energy which is a slightly modified firmware. And, uh, this sends out uh, uh, an, uh, uh, an, uh, a signal which is captured by the white disc you see over there to the ceiling on our ceiling our booth one two oh, yes. three we have put up three just to be sure to, to make it work but actually with one we could have covered the entire booth but it's not triangulation it's not triangulation right but it's a, it's a, it's a new type of technology which has been developed we have a uh, very high we have a very high accuracy with this so currently the way this is working is that the uh, the, the tag itself it is fixed to the phone right the beacons they actually they actually uh, receive or they, they they know where we are right so the beacons they actually know where where we are they calculate our position they give it to the server there that's the only thing that happens um, and uh, and so on there you actually get positions one of the very nice features or use cases we are seeing here is the following so we've done a little bit of a of an uh, of an example no, don't don't be uh, you know fooled by the user user interface it's just like prototyping and showing that so here here we're moving in very close just to show you the precision so here you get automatically as you're getting close to an environment or to uh, this is not near full communication this is just based on location you get this little little ads which is popped up right so this is based around the geofence or a region which has been delineated on the map if you get into vicinity or within that facility automatically that that, uh, that information is sent to you to your mobile phone okay so this uh, enables a lot of, uh, of use cases we are thinking about mobile advertising or, or location hyper local uh, uh, content or micro uh, local uh, also that can be delivered. Uh, for instance, in a grocery store, you could have like shelves, uh, shelf level type of uh, of, uh, of ads being served up to individual uh, consumers. The, the other use case we see, of course, is uh, is one which is a little bit more down to earth, which is to do with the uh, with emergency services. So imagine that there is a an emergency um, uh, intervention needs to happen because there is a fire here on the roof, right right here. You can have, have actually have the uh, firemen uh, or policemen be guided from, from wherever they are you know, and get exactly where they need to get to. So they know that the, 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 closest, the closest entrance is for instance here, so they get into here, then they can, they can easily calculate from, uh, from this position, so from here to, to here. Uh, calculation of where where someone is. I was speaking to your colleague uh, Jocelyn, yes, and she guided, she saw, showed me the natural guidance, the new system yes. that you've been developing. It's, it's quite uh, labor intensive. You, you need to drive through all the cities yes. and get to the images. Now, for internal imagery, I mean um, interior yes. navigation, should be even uh, more difficult. I mean, segways. Probably. For, what did you use for this particular case for the, this pavilion? For this pavilion. Oh, we have. 
I mean, this is just a demonstration. We haven't really put, put it into any, any, uh, you know, commercial not application. What? Not automated. It's, what do you mean automated? Is there no creation? Oh, this, this is the, uh, this is just the event app which we put in one of our formats. Oh, I see. Right. So it's, it's just a basic uh, platform that we have, we have used. So we, you know, absolutely, we're absolutely right. You could indeed uh, evolve this into, uh, into uh, maybe indoor natural guidance application, whereby you, you could say, you know, at the uh, next to net at the Docomo move, turn left, and then go uh, to 20 meters to the right. You know, that's perfectly doable. Uh, but, but, yes. but, but what we are actually showing here is the entire value chain, or the entire, you know, all the technology components brought together for the first time with very accurate indoor positioning. It actually works. Uh, I mean, up to now, we see like Wi-Fi positioning, but in this environment, it simply doesn't work. Because you have too many access points here, you cannot find it. It doesn't work. So I believe this is the only uh, indoor position technology at the show which actually does it, does it well. And, uh, and we combined it our installation apps and our products, and I think that uh, the really gives us a very strong, uh, very strong offer. Let me raise the stakes a bit. Yes. What about other floors? Does this work with altitude? Uh, no problem. No problem. Uh, we have. Uh, we know that this is. A, we know that this is a limitation of Wi-Fi because of Wi-Fi you don't know exactly where. Where uh, Wi-Fi is based on a footprint, right? You, you collect the footprint. Here it's different. Here you actually place the uh, the beacons, right? And based on the beacons where they are, you know you, that's how you calculate your position. So we are not doing site surveys. We create a map. We put the beacons in the map. If you have like uh, floors, you put beacons at the floors wherever you need you need them, and you can easily uh, directly uh, you know find your uh, your position. So that's about it. Uh, did, do you have covered the other pavilion with other floors? No, no, no. We no, haven't no, done no. it. We just, we just this, this, uh, that would be interesting to see. Well, we want this, well, one of the uh, one of the issues we have with with is that we need to have issues. I mean, one of the challenges we have we need to deploy the infrastructure for the, uh, the oh, yeah the beacons, and we need to work with um, with uh, Pira de Barcelona or uh, you know uh, exposition center in Paris or whatever. You know, the big the big venues to actually deploy the infrastructure. Yes, but the beacons are the best solution. I mean. <laughs> Negotiating with stadiums and airports to put it everywhere. It's a bit costly. Well, what's the next solution? Yeah. Do you have? Or do you have any other solution instead of the beacons? No, I mean this is this is not not expensive at all. This is no the estimate. What? Can you give me the estimate? No, we haven't no. we haven't defined the pricing yet, but this is a uh, this is going to be less expensive than Wi-Fi. This is interesting. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.